I have just explained you what is find command. And with find command you could easily find different files and directories. And structure of the find command is different from structure of other commands that we have discussed before. And it contains regular options, arguments and additional expression. And expression itself consists of different options. And if you enter find dash dash help, you will see all those possible options that you could use with find command. And they are not listed here in table format and you see that they are listed simply one by one, like C newer, C time, empty and so on. And if you scroll a bit up, you'll see actually structure of find command. Here you see such regular options as dash capital H, dash capital L, dash capital P. Next comes optional argument that is path to specific file or folder. And after this path comes expression. And this expression may contain multiple options from this list. All right, let's uh, try find command in action. Let's clear terminal. And now I'm located uh, in slash root folder that is home directory for this root user. And let's list the files and folders here using ls command. And I see some files like file1.txt and so on. And also I see such directory as etc-backup-2 that is a copy of etc folder. Now let's create a couple of additional files with extension .pdf. And we will do that just for testing purposes and we will use find command in order to find those pdf files. All right, let's use touch command and create file1.pdf like so. And let's create file2.pdf, like this. And now let's find this file1.pdf in this current folder. And for that, simply type find dash name, and here comes name of the file, file1.pdf. And notice that I have omitted here argument that is actually path to a specific directory. In such case, find will use current path, current directory. Let's press enter. And I have found file, file1.pdf. And here is complete path to this file. Remember that the dot represents current folder, current directory. And actually here in this command, I could use dot as argument and it will represent current directory. And result will be the same. File1.pdf will be found in current directory. All right, let's try to find same file in parent directory. And for that, I could use here argument two dots. And of course, in such case, find operation took more time than in this case. That's because now this file, file1.pdf, was searched in root directory. I mean, not slash root. I mean, in root directory. And here you see path like uh, two dots slash root slash file-1.pdf. In the same way, you could find another file like uh, file2.pdf. And if you'll type here absolute path instead of two dots like slash, you'll see similar results, but now here you'll see absolute path. And notice please difference between this path and this path. Here is absolute path and it starts with forward slash. That's because here as argument we have used absolute path. And here we have used relative path, two dots. That's why here, in those results, find has shown us relative paths to found files. All right, let's clear terminal and now let me show you how to find all PDF files. Let's use find again with argument dot current directory and here will be again dash name and here in double quotes I'll type star dot PDF, closing double quote. Enter and now I have found all PDF files in current directory. In the same way, I can find all txt files like so. And all txt files were found. If I'll use another directory, let's say slash, I'll see all different txt files that are located in different folders that are subfolders of the root folder. And you see that uh, there is uh, such txt file located in user, share, vim and so on. That's how you could easily and fast find different files with specific extension. All right, let's proceed. And next, after the small pause, let me show you additional options that you could use with find command.
I'll see you after the pause. Bye.